Hi everyone, thank you for coming back to my channel. Resin Dragon here. So today I wanted to try something new. I bet you're wondering why, why does she have pennies <laughs> on her mat? Um, so today what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a cube mold and we're gonna fill it halfway with resin and then we are gonna put the pennies in after it cures and then put more resin on top. So, the theory is it's gonna look like those pennies are floating. So for my coin buddies out there that subscribe to my channel, first of all, thank you, you guys rock. I love you so much. Um, these are not pennies that are worth anything. Um, my hubby got them for me, a 2019 Shield Scent and a 2017 Shield Scent. So, they are nothing special, they're just pennies. <laughs> so I appreciate you guys being concerned about that. So what we're gonna do today is just pour the first layer. Simple enough, right? We shall see. And then after we pour that first layer, I will bring you back three days later after it's cured to place the pennies and do the next layer. So why don't we go ahead and get to pouring. I already pre-mixed my resin so that you guys didn't have to watch me do that. It does take five minutes um, to do. So it's just simply a clear resin and we're not gonna put any color in it and it's a two to one ratio. Um, I'm just gonna hit it with a torch real quick while it's in the cup. Normally people don't do that, um, but I do, so what? Okay, just a little bit, not a lot. All right, so now we're just gonna go ahead Oh no, my phone is falling over. Sorry. <laughs> the trials and tribulations of trying to film with two different cameras, right? Just making sure it doesn't fall over again into the resin. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and just pour it. I'm kind of going to eyeball it just to see how close we are to the middle. I probably should have marked it. You think that would have helped? I bet. <laughs> so I'm just going to pour a little bit more. Alrighty. So. That looks pretty good to me. I will bring you guys back in three days once this is cured and we could place those pretty pennies. All right, see ya. Welcome back everyone. So we are about uh, three days later. It might actually be four. Um, the reason why is because um, the first cube that I had poured was this one and um, you know I really sometimes just can't stop messing with things and I created a problem so there was very small bubbles um, in the bottom of this one so I took a toothpick and I even took like a, a silicone uh, tip tool tried to fish them out and um, it just created more and more bubbles because I did it after 24 hours. After 24 hours, it starts to become very jelly and uh, it just created more and more bubbles and I was like, well, I guess I messed this up. So what I did was I had a bunch of um, what I call scrap pieces. These were like stuff that I, I made like at the very beginning of resin, you know, just like little bubbles. Um, and I put them inside and put some glitter in there and then I put some scrap resin that just happened to be peeling off of something I was demolding earlier and I'm just gonna see how it turns out. I was telling you guys I wanted to do something with scrap resin anyway and um, found some of this old stuff laying around. 
So we're gonna do that today as well. And then I re-poured another half of a cube to actually put the pennies in. So um, we're gonna do that today. I'm gonna go ahead and place some more little baubles around in here and um, get to pouring that first. And then we'll move on to the pennies. Um, some of these are just things that either didn't cure properly, something that I messed up, maybe there was too many bubbles. Um, these ones just didn't cure properly because I used too much alcohol ink. So there was a lot of stuff that in the beginning I didn't really know. And so some stuff got messed up and that's going to happen when you're new to resin. So I'm just going to put a bunch of stuff in here and then we're going to fill it and see what it looks like at the end. Uh, I don't think I want another orange one in there. I'm just going to leave those out. So we're just going to go ahead. Um, I already mixed up my resin. It's the two to one ratio. And I would like to let it sit just a little bit longer to get rid of some of those micro bubbles you could see that are forming in there. So I am going to let this sit a little bit longer. Um, I thought I'd be talking longer. <laughs> um, I had leftover resin from when I uh, poured this half a cube. So what I did was I also poured a clear ashtray. And what I'm gonna do with this, I'm gonna unmold this today too, but um, what I wanna do with this one is um, I wanna practice my sticker technique. I'm gonna go ahead and put a sticker on the inside and then um, resin that over and then you'll just have this awesome ashtray with a sticker inside. I might use my own stickers. Um, I recently ordered some, so we shall see what I decided to do with that. But I had some leftover resin and I did that. Um, so I am going to pause the video for a little bit while this uh, resin sits a little bit longer to get some of those bubbles out. I will be right back with you. And we're back. All right, so most of the micro bubbles have popped by now. Since we're pouring this one first and we know it already has some bubble issues, I'm not too worried about it. We'll go ahead and just start pouring this one in and uh, see what happens. So we're just gonna pour all around these little baubles. Sorry, I don't really know what else to call them. <laughs> so I'm just gonna keep calling them a bauble. Let's see. Pour it to the tippy tip tip top because there's some of the stuff that is kind of big, like the um, one of the spheres. So I wanna make sure that it's completely covered All right, there we go. Paper towels are a wonderful invention. And we do have some bubbles uh, that came, oh no! <laughs> Did you see that giant bubble just pop up out of there? And now it, the sphere is spinning because there's bubbles coming out from underneath. Holy cow. Okay, I'm gonna try to flip it back over <laughs> and see what happens. Oh my gosh, that was hilarious from my point of view. I really hope the camera caught that because that was funny. And anything that is clear, you're going to find is just going to probably disappear in the clear resin. So we put a heart in there that was just clear resin and then had some glitter. And then the sphere was clear and had glitter and some micro beads in it. So I think that's really just going to be very camouflaged and all you're going to see is the beads. So that might actually come out pretty cool. Um, so now that the bubbles have come to the surface, we're just going to go ahead and torch those. And I'm going to move this little guy down because it looks like he started to float. Um, that'll happen too sometimes. Sometimes they decide to float, sometimes they sink. Who knows? Um, I haven't figured that out yet. It's not <laughs> Sometimes things sink, sometimes they float. I don't know why. Um, I'll figure it out eventually and, uh, from watching more videos and experimenting some more. So that is done. And now we can move on to the actual project that we wanted to do, which was the pennies. So again, it was a uh, 2017 uh, Philadelphia shielded penny and a 2019 Philly uh, shielded penny as well. So I'm gonna put one face up and one face down. 
That way on each side you have a face up Abe and a shield up on each side. So that should look pretty cool. All right, I hope that is centered. I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit better so you guys can see that. All right. It looks pretty good to me. So like I said, that bottom layer is completely cured. Completely cured. So now we're just gonna pour right on top of it. And I'm gonna do it really slow because I really don't want any bubbles in this. So just bear with me as I pour this in here. And every so often I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna check for bubbles. <laughs> I really want to get this right the first time around, but you know, hey, that's what experiments are for. If I make a mistake and I get bubbles, then I'll just try it again. Maybe next time with uh, with a Morgan. <laughs> just just kidding, my coin friends. I would never do this to a, a real Morgan. Um, so I do already see a bubble, and I only see one. So that's not so bad. I'm gonna go ahead and torch it. Oh, I see a couple more. All right, perfect. And I'm gonna pour some more on top. So here we go. Slowly. And those bubbles really could have came from anywhere. They could have come not only from the cup, but they could have come from underneath the penny. You know, there's bubbles, there's air under there, even though I sat them pretty flat. That could happen. There could be air trapped underneath, and as I poured, um, they just came up. So that could happen, like we saw with that sphere. I'm going to check for more bubbles. Okay. I don't really see any bubbles. That's a good sign. But I am going to torch just in case. And then we're going to pour a little bit more. Oh, look at that big bubble that just came up. Oh my gosh. Where'd you come from? Where were you hiding? <laughs> All right. And I'm going to stop and we're going to torch that guy and see if he has any friends. Well, we'll wait a second and see if he has any friends. No? I'm gonna torch him. There he goes, he's gone. All right. I do see a fuzz that is aggravating the crap out of me, so bear with me one second while I get the fuzz. There we go. Wouldn't be so bad if it was just a piece of like peach fuzz or something, but it was like legit um, a black piece of fuzz. And I can't take that. All right, and then we're just gonna pour the to the tippy tip top. All right, so again, the hope is, is that when we are done, um, it is, and this is cured, it is going to look like those two pennies are literally floating in this cube. So that is the hope, and um, I'm really excited to see what happens. I know I say that word a lot. I think I need to go and do a thesaurus and look up a different word for, for uh, excited. But I do. I get happy and excited. This is like my happy place. Um, all right, so everything is looking really good, and I will see you in three days to unmold this puppy. I'm elated. How's that? Elated. All right. I like that one. So I will see you in three days. Thank you. Welcome back, everyone. And this is the moment we've all been waiting for, the demolding of my cubes that I made. Um, just to kind of give you a little refresher, um, I messed up the first one with bubbles, so I made a scrap cube with a bunch of scrap pieces in it, and then I redid it in uh, another 
mold. And then this is my uh, logo sticker. So I'm super excited to have stickers available. Um, I'm just elated um, at how they came out. The quality um, went through Sticker Mule for that. So um, I could put a link down below um, for Sticker Mule if you guys want to get stickers made, but uh, they look gorgeous. So without further ado, let's unmold these puppies. I will start with the scrap one first. Um, I will preface by saying I have never done a cube mold before, so uh, this is going to be fun trying to unmold it because <laughs> I have never done this before. So hopefully I can get it out with little to no problems. I, you know, read up on the internet and on YouTube of how other creators get cubes out. And so if I have a problem uh, with just pulling it out, then I will go that route. But let's see if we could just somehow pull it out first. <laughs> um, I'm going to try to give it a little squeeze around the sides to make sure that it's um, coming apart. Oh boy, these are something else, aren't they? They make it look so easy on the internet, don't they? Hmm. Let's give it a little bit more might like to say a little bit more elbow grease and see if we can't pull that out. Hmm. Well, it's definitely moving, <laughs> but I don't know if it's moving at quite the rate that we want. Um, I might just go ahead and fast forward this part of the video uh, through the magic of editing. Whew. That's something else, isn't it? Get out of there. <laughs> As if that's going to do something. <laughs> it's kind of like when you're working in the office and your uh, computer goes down and you just keep moving your mouse aggressively as if it's going to do something. Uh, boy, oh boy, it just is really in there. I mean, I'm, I'm making progress. It's coming. <laughs> I'm just waiting for that one moment where it's just going to go plop and it's going to plop right out. Oh boy. Um, yeah, so one of the tricks that I saw online is you could put a little bit of water in there with some Dawn and um, that will help loosen it. So, oh, oh, here it comes. Ah, I got it. Yes. <laughs> Victory! You did not bust me, you stupid cube. All right, so <laughs> let's see how it turned out. Um, so this is the top that you've always been able to see. Um, and then here's the bottom. Had some glitter and some puzzle pieces in it. And then here's the view from the side. So I think it came out pretty good. Um, you can definitely see... Let's see if we can get it to focus. Maybe I have to take some things out of the frame here. Um, you can definitely see the seam line where it um, actually, where the cured resin uh, was first and then the second layer, I'm sorry, between the layers is what I was trying to say. So you can kind of see it, but I mean, all in all, for being a test piece um, full of, you know, just baubles that I had laying around, I think it came out pretty good. Um, I'm not gonna complain, it is full of bubbles, but that was totally my fault, which I talked to you guys about already, which is why it was the way it was, which is why it turned into a scrap piece. Um, so all in all, I'm pretty happy with it for being a scrap piece. I think it looks cute, and it's a nice way to preserve some of my first pieces that I ever did, um, and keep them nice and together. So I kinda like it. All right, so on to the feature uh, product. We are going to unmold these two pennies and hope that they look like they're floating. So let's see if we can get this one unmolded a little quicker since we uh, were able to do the first one. Um, it does look a little yellow and that may be because the mold uh, was a little older than this mold that I had. Um, it could also be because the pennies themselves are casting a color um, because the pennies are copper and the uh, uh, 
epoxy is clear, or I'm sorry, the resin is clear, it could be casting a color from the copper. So that's a very big possibility as well. So it's not that it's not clear, because it is, it's just that it's casting a color. So let's see if we can pull this guy out without having to go for the dawn in the water. <sighs> I should have wore gloves to protect my cuticles. My cuticles are kind of ripping, but <laughs> whatever. Oh my gosh, look, I even have a cut on my thumb. Ow. All right, well, that's my fault. I should have put gloves on. <sighs> he really is in there. Here we go with the shaking again. That probably doesn't help. Oh, I think I found the trick. You gotta kind of rock it a little bit. <sighs> oh, running out of uh, grip strength. <laughs> Not that I ever had much to begin with. There we go. It's popping out. All right, we got it. So again, here is the top. Let me get this sticker out of the way. Pretty cool. And then here is the bottom. Wow. Um, this one, yeah, I can see the seam line again. So I can definitely see where um, the two different pores happened. But all in all, I'm super happy with the way this turned out. As you know, being the first one that I've I've done this way, um, I'm really excited. I think it came out pretty good. They do, in fact, look like they're kind of floating there. So um, let me know what you think down in the comments. I'd really love to hear um, your guys' feedback and let me know how you think this experiment turned out with some pennies. And we will probably do some more of these because I, you know, I'm into silver stacking and coins and things like that as well. So I'll probably do more of these and um, more experiments with other coins. But leave me a comment and let me know what you guys think. And if you really like the video, please subscribe and like the video. It really really helps out my channel. Um, and thank you so much again for joining me. So until next time, why don't you pour one for me?